just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Well, that's my homie, ain't that right and graving Now you know, as soon as Eric DaCosta and Steve Vashotti They saw the details of this deal They were like, thank you I know they probably cried tears of joy because of everything that has gone on and really hasn't gone on during this entire process with their negotiations uh, with Lamar Jackson. So with Jalen Hurts, um, he signed a five-year contract extension worth up to $255 million. And, and again, you know, Vishadi, he's smiling from ear to ear. You know, he, and he, that smile will not go away. Well, until Lamar turned down whatever they're going to offer him next. And then he's going to be heated again. But anyway, uh, you know they were hyped. They probably sent thank you cards and gifts and flowers to Jalen Hurts, his agent, Nicole Lynn, Harry Roseman, everybody involved. Because it helps them. It helps them. And it shows somebody else on their side. Now, first and foremost, the first thing they, they, they probably looked at, all right, it's a $255 million deal. How much is guaranteed? How much of that deal is full of guarantees? Is it $255 million? Well, no, that would be 100% guaranteed. We know the owners ain't giving that out. We know they're not doing that. So what was it? So Jalen Hurts' deal, has it includes up to $179.3 mil in guarantees. And a little bonus for Jalen Hurts. And they said it was the first time they did this in Eagles history. But there is also a no-trade clause. So just in case, just in case things went south, just in case things got ugly, just in case things went bad, and the Eagles wanted to trade Jalen Hurts, they would have to talk to him and his agent first to see if they got permission to do that. They couldn't just trade him uh, without him giving the okay. Uh, but hopefully for Jalen Hurts and them, it, it doesn't get that way. Uh, but that's cool, man. That's cool. I, I was happy for Jalen Hurts, but I know, uh, especially us as Ravens fans, we were thinking, all right, well, how does this impact Lamar Jackson? Then it made a lot of people reflect on the previous deal that had been reported about so much um, between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson, the previous offer. Uh, and Sarah Ellison, shout out to Sarah Ellison, by the way. She got a shout out on a Pat McAfee show from Pat McAfee and Ian Rappaport. Said, man, I, I got a famous friend. Sarah Ellison, she on top, man. She done made it. So shout out to Sarah, man. Y'all know she good people. She always has been. But anyway, um, she did a side-by-side -side comparison of Jalen Hurts' deal uh, with the Eagles and Ravens offer to Lamar uh, from last September, so September of 2022, uh, that was reported from Adam Schefter. So the total value, Jalen Hurts, 255 mil, uh, and Lamar Jackson, 250 mil. So extremely close, but this is great for Lamar back then because that's what Jalen Hurts got. Now, he just got five mil more in total value. Again, it's not the guarantee part yet, so that's a little different, but total value, like, to only... It for, for, it, for it only to be a five mil difference And he just came from going to the Super Bowl And it's only a five mil difference in total That's pretty good But let's get into the little details And and for anything, please And I know y'all will already, respectfully though But let, let me know if, if I get any of the numbers wrong If I get any of the little details wrong Please correct me Because y'all know I'll be messing stuff up So I appreciate y'all in advance for that But anyway, um, now this part The fully guaranteed at signing So once you sign Then this is what's Fully guaranteed. So for Jalen Hurts, 110 mil. Fully guaranteed at signing. Lamar Jackson, 133 mil. So Ravens were ahead of the curve with this one, with Lamar. They were, they were ahead of this curve. I was like, oh, oh, okay, all right now. And then the total guarantees. So the total guarantee, not total guarantee at signing, but total guarantees, you know, like with the springing guarantees and all that, guarantees on certain days of the, the league year, if you're on the roster at this point in time, with injuries and stuff, for Jalen Hurts, it's 179.3 mil. For Lamar Jackson, it was 200 mil. I said, oh, okay then. So them Ravens, they uh, they was up to something. Now, I'm sure that there may be little details of that deal um, that changed stuff. I believe Ian Rappaport said, because uh, of course we, we don't have all the details of the deal because it's not an official deal. Like Jalen Hurts, we've been getting more and more details every hour, but with Lamar Jackson, since that deal was not signed, it's not an official deal. We only know bits and pieces of it. But Ian Rappaport was, when he was on the Pat McAfee show, he was saying that Lamar Jackson's deal 
was for 50 mil per for per year and uh Jalen Hurts deal is 51 mil per year. So not a crazy difference. Not a crazy difference. So looking at all that stuff that we just looked at, and again, if there's any details that I miss, because I know again, a lot of y'all better better than me with this the contract stuff. But if there's anything that I miss, please let me know. Put it in the comment section. But um looking at the details of the deal that we do know, Ravens, they they try to hook Lamar up. But again, we know Lamar is really trying to change the game though. He's more, he's probably like, hey, that's cool, but no, 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 no. I'm after that more of a Deshaun Watson type of bread as far as guarantees. And we know the NFL, all the owners and whatnot, they holding hands together saying, nope, we won't let it happen. Um, but I guess Lamar could be trying to get as close to that as possible. Now, um, when you look at this deal, it does help the Baltimore Ravens. It helps them because they can be like a couple of things. Like, look, hey, Lamar, you see Jalen Hurts. His deal is not fully guaranteed, so that's that part. But then just the, the structure of it, the, the guarantees, the signing, the total guarantees, all that, the, the APY, the average per year, all that, from what they apparently offer Lamar before, back in September, seemed like that was a pretty good deal. Seemed like it was a pretty good deal. Again, there could be some details that we don't know about, so, it, so I can't speak on it completely. But from the stuff that we do know, it does seem like it was a nice little deal. Um, so we'll see what happens now. So if what I think is going to happen with Lamar, I think he's going to continue to wait. I think he's going to wait because he also has, uh, Joe Burrow and also has Justin Herbert. And like you all know already, when it comes to the QB market, um, it's not all about who's the best. At that time, it's not all about who's the hottest at that time. It's not all about who's done this, that, and a third at that time. It's just about who's getting paid next. And if you are a good quarterback, especially if you are one of the top quarterbacks, you're going to get paid. And it's all about timing. When it comes to these contracts, timing is everything. Because when, if, when it's your time to get paid, and you're eligible, and when you usually get it done then, yeah, you're usually right at the top. And if you're not at the top, then you're very, very close to the top when it comes to getting your bread. So I think Lamar Jackson will wait it out a little bit longer. I think he'll wait for Joe Burrow. I think he'll wait for um, Justin Herbert. <laughs> I don't think he want to wait for Tua. You, you may be waiting a long time for Tua, but he'll wait for the other guys uh, and see what happens with them and then go from there. Because and, and with the Ravens, the Ravens are they probably like they probably want to get it done. And even if they like bumped it up a little more than this one, I, I think they would be and should be happy to do that. Um, because even if they bumped it up a little from this deal, uh, from what we've heard, because we don't know for sure. But what we've heard, uh, even if they bumped it up a little, it still wouldn't be as much guaranteed money as Lamar possibly wants. Because, again, all the rumors were that he wants as close to that Deshaun Watson as he could possibly get. Um, but, hey, now, another thing. Um, so that, that, that part really helps the Ravens side a lot. A part with, uh, with Lamar Jackson that I've seen a little bit of discourse on over these past couple of hours is the agent talk. We know that... Um, there's always continue to be a lot of back and forth about, hey, should Lamar have an agent? Does he need an agent? Should he get an agent? He needs to get an agent. He does need to get an agent. Da, 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 da. And everybody has their own opinions. And, and I, get, I get both sides because I hear both sides all the time. Uh, some people point out endorsement deals, sponsorships and stuff like that, like an agent could get him linked up with that. And some people say, hey, maybe he turned some stuff down that he just didn't want. Maybe he's not on that right now. So I don't know. But the fact of the matter is that um, – this was a deal that him and the Ravens came up with. This is a deal that he was offered. Um, the deal back in September for 2022. And he got offered that deal without an agent. Without one. So all the talk about, oh, he needs an agent, he needs an agent. And there, could be some, there are some good valid points that some people make. But he had a lot of money on the table without an agent. And when, well, hopefully it's when and not if... 
But hopefully when this deal does get done, it's going to be more. In my, in my opinion, I think it's going to be more than what Jalen Hurts got. Just because of the timing. It's going to be more. And depending on if he does it before or after Joe Burrow, before or after Justin Herbert, if he does it before, it, it will be less than what they get. If they do it after, if he does it after, then it will be more. Because, again, the timing. Now, with Justin, the only, the only one right there that really makes me think, like, if it will end up being more, even with the timing, is Justin Herbert. Because what if Joe Burrow gets paid next and then it's Justin Herbert's turn? That's where I think it gets tricky for me. Because with Jalen Hurts, like, hey, okay, just played in the Super Bowl. With Joe Burrow, um, when he's been healthy, they've competed to play in a Super Bowl every year that he's been healthy. You know, he only played three years, but first year ACL, done for the year. But then last two years, at least AFC Championship. And then, of course, his first four years played in the Super Bowl, then last year AFC Championship, and they lost. So he's going to get paid. But then Justin Herbert, it's like, would, would Justin Herbert really get paid more than Joe Burrow? Because, again, it is, it is about timing. But so I, I'm, I'm interested to see how that works. But <laughs> so is Lamar. So, yeah, I, I think he waits it out. I think because I feel like, hey, and maybe he feels like, you know what? I don't wait it this long. I don't wait it this long. Like, What's what's another month or two or three? Not four because I think what July seventeenth. It's the middle of July. When that, whatever that date is, where he can't sign a long term extension on a franchise tag, it's a cutoff time. So it's April now. So April, May, June, July. Yeah, it's, you got three months. So they got they got three months to either get this thing worked out or not. So hopefully they can get it worked out. But I think Lamar. Um, cause it's, it's obviously going to take a lot of compromise. It's going to take a lot of compromise, um, some from both sides, but right now I think for a deal to really get done, um, if they want to get it done sooner rather than later, uh, it's going to take compromise from both sides. I think Ravens will have to raise it up a little bit above Jalen Hurts, but Lamar probably had to come down a bit from his, if they want to get it done, if they want to like meet in the middle or something like that. But I don't think that's going to happen yet. Cause I think he's just going to sort of. Gauge just a little bit more, cause right now with this part, the Ravens are winning. They like, hey, hey, we we got it. we were right. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. Um, so Lamar could just wait it out a bit longer, and be like, you know what? All right, that's cool. Jalen Hurts deal. All right, cool. Okay, okay, Ravens. I, I see y'all. I, I get where y'all are coming from. You know what? Let's okay. Just just cause I I, I want to dot all my eyes and cross all my T's and whatnot. I want to dot all my lowercase J's and all that. But anyway. I want to do that. So I saw the Jalen Hurts deal. You know, let, let me see the Joe Burrow deal too. Because I just, I just want to make sure. Before we jump in anything long term, I, I just want to really make sure to see exactly what it really is. So let me see the Joe Burrow deal. Let me see the Justin Herbert deal. Let, 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 let me see how those end up working out. And then, then we'll talk some more. I got y'all. So we'll see. So that that's just that's just what I think is gonna happen. But again, we won't know till we know. Could be we could be hit with one of those swerves, one of them surprises where Lamar comes through. Hey, I'm a Raven officially now, not on a franchise tag, but on a deal. We came up with the terms. That be that be great. That be great. But this process uh, it just continues. I, I do think that this um, and we talked about it on the stream earlier today. I do think that this deal, the Jalen Hurts deal, it does sort of. Nudge both sides like, hey, all right, Jalen Hurts, he got his deal. So now y'all, y'all, y'all see what the where the market is heading a little bit more now. Y'all, y'all, y'all see it. But at the same time, Lamar could be like, you know, I just, I just want to be sure. I just want to be hundred percent sure. I just want to double check before I, I make any changes. I do any compromise. I do anything differently. So we'll see how this thing goes. And one more thing that I forgot to mention that is a real possibility is that this whole entire ordeal with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, from Lamar's side, it could be deeper than money. Um, because we know Lamar Jackson has consistently said, I want to win. I want to win. I want a Super Bowl. I want to win the Super Bowls. I want to be the Tom Brady of the Baltimore Ravens. Y'all going to get a Super Bowl out of me. And we know for Lamar Jackson, for everything that he's ever said 
uh, to the Baltimore Ravens, about the Baltimore Ravens. Thus far, he has continued to keep his word on all of that stuff. Um, and we know business business can get in the way of some things sometimes, uh, and we'll see what happens with this, but could it be not just about money, but about weapons? Could it be about talent? Uh, could it be about what he wants the Ravens to really surround him with uh, at the wide receiver position, or maybe another position as well, but could it be about coaching? Hey, Ravens, you really want to sign me? You know, we, we got to change this whole thing around. If I'm going to continue to play here, you know what? Y'all got to do better. You got to try harder. You got to do a lot better than you've done because there's a lot of people saying this, that, and the third. And I've continued to show myself to y'all, to the league, but I, I want to show even more. I, I want to do even more. I want to do even better. So I need even better. And it goes far beyond just paying me. But I need you to get me some guys that are like that. So that's one possibility that it's really not even alarming. It's just something that it, it could be real. It could be real. And maybe he would just want to really see Ravens approach like, hey, all right, if, if y'all are going to be these new Ravens, if y'all are really going to be somebody who y'all really haven't been before in the past, show me first. Show me first because I don't want to get locked up into a contract for the long term, especially hey, if it ain't fully guaranteed, if the guarantees ain't crazy high, I ain't about to get locked up in a contract and y'all still around here doing the same stuff. So you need to show me what you're going to be about before we get this thing going. But that's just another possibility. Anyway, love y'all. Team Keep It Clean. We out.